Hi all. Today we are going to discuss the topic Hurwitz polynomials, the module 4 of the subject Network Analysis and Synthesis, BTEC Honor subject in KTU. And a Hurwitz polynomial, how we can determine the polynomial is a Hurwitz or not. So a polynomial P of us is said to be Hurwitz if the following conditions are satisfied. The conditions are the P of us, the polynomial is real when S is real. And the second one is the roots of P of us have real parts which are zero or negative the roots must have real parts which are zero or negative zero or negative means uh, the roots will always be in the left half of the s plane if the real part is positive which means the roots will be on the right half of s plane so here the roots the real part of the roots must be zero or negative so that is the uh, basic conditions we need and the properties of how its polynomials are there are six properties normally it may be asked for a short answer question so the first one is that all the coefficients in the polynomials should be positive that is the coefficients are a n a n minus 1 a n minus 2 up to a 0 okay all the coefficients in the polynomial must be positive a polynomial may not have any missing terms between the highest and the lowest order unless all even or all odd terms are missing. That is, suppose if you are having a polynomial like uh, s raised to 4 plus 2s square plus s plus 4. So here the s cube, the cube term is missing. Therefore, the polynomial is not have its. Okay. And there is a term there is a term that is unless all even or all all terms are missing that is in the uh, same uh, uh, polynomial if we are having the polynomial like that is uh, s raised to 4 plus 2 s square plus 3 so here the uh, polynomial may be habits because here all the odd terms are missing that is s cube is not there s is not there okay so uh, there is a chance so that's the uh, case uh, here the first uh, property and the second property is the roots of odd and even parts of polynomial p of us lie on the j omega axis only okay and the third property is if the polynomial p of us is either even or odd the roots of polynomial p of us lie on the j omega axis only either even or odd means uh, in the even polynomial uh, even terms will be there and the odd polynomial odd terms will be there that is s cube s like that okay and the fourth one is all the quotients are positive if the continued fraction expansion of the ratio of odd to even parts or even to odd parts of the polynomial p of us okay that can be uh, we can see in the later in the uh, problem that well okay and the fifth property is if the polynomial p of us is expressed as w of us into p1 of us then p of us is Hurwitz if w of us and p1 of us are Hurwitz that is if p of us is expressed as the multiple multiplication of two terms okay if the individual terms are Hurwitz then the entire p of us will be Hurwitz and if the ratio of the polynomial p of us and its derivative p dash of us gives a continuous continued fraction expansion with all positive coefficients then the polynomial p of us is Hurwitz. So these are the main properties of Hurwitz polynomials and we can uh, simply go to a simple uh, problem that is for understanding the concept well. Uh, state for each case whether the polynomial is Hurwitz or not. Give reasons in each case. So the first case is s raised to 4 plus 4 s cube plus 3 s plus 2. So in the first case, we, by observing the first uh, polynomial, we know that uh, the s square term is missing. That is s raised to 4 is there, s cube is there, but s square term is missing. So the polynomial is not a Hurwitz. And also here the polynomial is uh, not an even or not an odd polynomial. That is in the even polynomial only even terms will be there. 
but here the cube and s raised to 1 times are there and in the odd polynomials only odd polynomials will be there okay so here that's not the case that so here uh, the first polynomial is not how it's and in the second one uh, s raised to 6 plus 5 s raised to 5 plus 4 s raised to 4 minus 3 s cube plus 2 s square plus s plus 3 here the one of the term okay is having a negative coefficient that is minus 3 s cube minus 3 is there so the polynomial is not a howitz okay so uh, this is the basics of the howitz polynomial and in the next video we will discuss more about and more problems so thank you